before 17. If actually go back, we'll start right at nine, right on a triangle downbeat. We'll start at nine. Main thing is, no, I don't, I don't think you need to do anything other than just work naturally without accents or doing anything. It's just gonna come out of the texture, okay? Don't just be like, da, 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 da. Let's just just play naturally, very legato, okay? Very sotto voce at the beginning. What does that mean, clarinets? Especially those of you in choir. Voice like, like the voice. Sotto voce. In my head. <laughs> Where do we? Speak? No, it doesn't. I'm just saying. It's not um, yes, it's a folk song. So we would traditionally think that folk songs would be an oral tradition that That's would so be true. strong and not only really played on instruments, but also can you spell that for artistic. Us? That's right. Nine fish. Main thing is, is we're not moving together when the flutes come in because um, our MVP, Miss Piccolo over here, MVP, Miss right, Isabel, she is. We just got to make sure that we move those together, okay? Move those together. Move those eight fish together. This is nine, everybody. And one, ready, and. Sweaty. All right. Can you spell Soto Rocha? Yeah. Mr. Just I'm going to eat this bitch now. I mean, We're eating it up. Chew. Chew. Concert two. We need to do like a OOTD. This is our OOTD. No, but like when we're done, like with the umbrella, with my umbrella, and like. No, but I look crappy though. You look good. I look crappy. I'm just literally wearing my Amish looking dress. Amish looking? Ah, I'm Amish looking. I'm Amish. Actually, I don't have any technology. I don't have any technology. That's why he plays the oboe. Yeah. I don't have any technology. I don't use uh, a tuna. Who the fuck? I don't use a tuna. Well, no way. He's so skilled. No, I'm too scared to look at the tuna. That's why. Well, he's you're literally a principal player. First, first show. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, he's literally a principal player. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. He's so us doing this voice is very like it's very this makes me miss Aiden because Aiden did this voice a lot. <laughs> well but I got to see Aiden when I'm on video so we ate we ate at Waffle House, me, Brayden and Aiden. I hate that their names are so similar, Aiden and Brayden. I hate that. And Jaden. <laughs> the triplets. Oh Four measures. Going. We're going to try Kendall and Janae, but you guys play the second clarinet part until measure 21. I don't know those people who play. Just the two of you, that's all time. But do you still have those other days coming up? So, so that's like measure 19 yeah. and uh, there's two more. <laughs> Just the winds percussion, hang on just a second. This is right when we come in, measure five. Measure five, just the winds, and one. One, two, three, one, ready, and. Includes the saxophones. We're just starting at measure, do we need to start at the beginning and count? 
Maybe. Let's just do that. Let's just do a beginning. Percussion, you're ready. Let's just do it. Okay. Come on, you're ready. This is very beginning. Everybody's in. So yeah, so don't come in till 29 then. Okay. All right, here we go. Try that one more time. Okay. One, two, three, one, ready, set. <laughs> to play but play softer or Emma just play louder what would you Emma what would you prefer I will try to play louder you will try to play louder all right here we go hopefully last time hey at 13 real fast yeah that dotted half note can we can we capitalize on that crescendo it's such a beautiful chord you play it in tune would you go I'm just going to check it. I don't trust myself.
or something? Like, we're gonna diminuendo going to 111. It's just a little too loud for everything that's coming in here. All right, decent, good. I'm liking it. Oh, just a slight tendency to slow down from time to time, but. Yeah, Kat, so especially on Tiffany, you're, you've got to make sure you're locked in with Miss Burton and also aware of the tempo being set by your friends on the other side of the room. And also, hey guys, at MTS, you have to be very careful because it's so boomy. Don't play tricks on your ears. Let's go Lock back to in. let's go back to thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Um, Victoria, at forty-five, sometimes I hear you sticking up. You're just a little too loud. Usually it's Valerie, but today it's you. Truth. Truth. Amen. 37. 37. Except for the alto saxophones and the horns, 
you're just gonna kind of come down a dynamic level. So put like a, everybody write in like a mezzo point. two before 139. Let's just extend that so that crescendo is three measures now. So we're going to keep the long notes, long notes we're going to keep at like mezzo forte and instead of just crescendoing for one measure, we're going to crescendo for three measures. Let's start our crescendo just a little bit. There. Let's see what happens. between 136 and 137. Now I know I've told us all not to put it there, right? Re. So I don't want everybody to necessarily read before 139, but a couple of us could break the tie and breathe in between those two notes. Is anybody already doing that? One person. <laughs> I'm a smart person. So if you, if a couple, like a couple people from every section, let's see what happens. Who wants to breathe there? Look at your section. Who wants to breathe between 135 and 136? Just make sure it's not more than, well, if it's a big section, two people. If it's a small section, just one person. I can do one more trumpet down here. There you go. Take your breath between 135 and 136. But when you come, when you take that breath, when you come back in, you re articulate hard. Kind of sneak it, right? Don't talk hard when you come back in. Here we go, let's try 127. And a one, two, three, one, and and. Make sure it wasn't a mistake. And then two more, two more times? Yeah. Alright. We can do it three in a row. Side part. Good. Side part by it. Here we go, 127. somebody else it's the second alto saxophone with the chord at 139 play just a tiny bit louder you with me first trombone just a tiny bit louder let's just hear that balance let's just go how about we go 127 one two three one twenty seven to the end. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Yes. And just do a little, start your diminuendo a little sooner. In fact, started at 151. Two measures earlier. I think it is good. I think that'll be good. I was gonna bow, maybe say, 
Can you clear the pedal at 151? So you're going, you're going pedal down, right? And you're just going ching, 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 right? The pedal's down the whole time. And then right when you're about to play 151, can you just lift and lift it one time? Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm yeah. what? Yeah, try. <laughs> Start like a measure before. Just give us three quarter notes and then play the half notes. It won't matter. Just leave it down. It won't matter. Okay. I think this is good. Yeah. You guys, stands down, please. So everyone, please make sure that your music is in your folders. Just the box, or are we carrying each hour? We're gonna put it in the box. Okay. Yeah, so you won't have to. You just have to worry about you and your instrument. Yeah, then it's gonna get wet. Can you hush? Like. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and wrap up your chicken. leaders as far as principal players are concerned you're actually going to take all the folders okay so you'll be with flutes okay if you're like a one instrument you're like low reeds that sort of thing all right you're going to pass in your folders to principal players principal players are going to double check you've got everybody for your section and then you will place them in the box okay second thing when we go to mtsu let's just talk about a couple things that we just need to know okay we're not going to micromanage you how you get off the bus we're not gonna be like, okay, you stand in this line and you stand in this line, okay? We're gonna treat you like artists. We're gonna treat you like young professionals until you give us a reason not to. And I know it's not gonna be you that needs this speech, it's going to be the other group on Thursday, all right? But you know that when we go to MTSU, we just have to, we just have to bring the A game. We have to look confident, all right? But we're not cocky, all right? We're humble. It is yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am in sight reading. It is yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am when somebody holds a door open for you. All of those good things, okay? Because part of our game, as far as our assessment, is also the perception of the audience and people in the building that all go and whisper to each other, okay? So we have sort of that perception game that we have to play, all right? This, my friends, is what's going to land you the corner office when you get older. And that's how you're going to make Big Bang, okay? Because you're humble, but you're confident, okay? I'm going to say this, and I know this goes without saying, and you saw it this fall with our younger group, all right? But when we get MTSU, as soon as we get off the bus, it's business. We might have some time to listen to a group, yes, no, or no. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah we'll, we'll go in in theater, we'll get a kind of a feel for the hall. Likewise, when we're in the hall, okay, there's no pointing and talking because you don't want there to be a misconception that you're making fun or talking about people. People on that stage work just as hard as you do, but not everybody gets the same instruction. So for better or for worse, just understand that not everybody has your advantages, okay? Are we clear on that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Every group I think does great. I think it's a nice gesture if you wanna give a standing ovation. I think it just it says a lot about your character, okay? And, and again, this is an appropriate audience. This isn't like how Live Live used to be where it was a Taylor Swift concert, okay? This is an appropriate venue for appropriate applause, okay? And the last thing, like I said, and I know you know this, but please, like every do not get off the bus and start playing grab ass. Okay? I will have that lecture for the younger group. That's why you're the elite wind ensemble. Are we clear on that point? Yes, sir. Take initiative on and off the bus with Miss Janet, all right? Um, and then I think also tubas. I think it may be some percussion stuff. Uh, Miss Mathis is driving a van, so she's got a van, so we can load some of that stuff up so that you guys will be a little bit more comfortable. What do we need to do about snacks and anything else? Just grab a snack, don't grab a snack. Yeah, so um, so we've got a water, and we have both cookies and some Pringles over there. If you want to take it on the bus with you, the but Miss Janet's going to be with us the whole time. So anything you take, we can leave on the bus while we're there and it'll be there when we get out. So you could take the snack, you can eat it now, you can eat it on the bus on the way there, you can save it till after the performance. 
All right, but feel free to take a cookie and a Pringles, or chips, all right? Take that with you or eat it now or whenever you want, okay? And are we just taking water down tissue? Yes, yeah, well, grab your water now. Oh, okay? yeah, yeah, grab your water. Gra grab, grab your water now with your snack, okay? We don't need to go back, right? No, no. no. But I will say, when we get to MTSU, you know, it might be raining. And they'll take us to a room where we put our cases and whatnot. So you can bring jackets and umbrellas and anything else that you need to when we get to MTSU. But like if you're bringing a backpack or things like that, you can you can either leave it on the bus or take it inside and we'll leave it with our cases. So either way, that's kind of it. But the bus is with us the whole time, so we don't have to clear out. Will you guys pass your folders into principal? Also, Are you putting two notes in the top? Should I bring my fancy black umbrella? Yes. Me, 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 me. 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 Fui. 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 MTSU? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what the past tense of Poner is? It's Puse. Puso? It's Puse. Puse. You're so immature. Thank you. You're actually so funny. I can't. The top the same thing you get it from every day. Puse. 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 We're gonna, I'm gonna.